to see you, man. You How too, are man. You? Thanks for having me on the show. Please, it's a pleasure. pleasure. I'm a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I mean, I, I go through so many stuff to get on this show, you know. I'm just, I must have put, you know, something that, I mean, the told Sally 10, 15 times I want to get on here. You know, you never get me on. Well, why are you it looking is. at me? It's not like I, I'm the book. You're the main man. You're the main man in this the show. executive producer. That's oh, right. Okay. Most powerful guy under 35. Right, all right. Yeah, I think I that Everybody guy. ganging up on Rose all of a sudden. That's nice. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy, we've been talking about the NBA draft that just happened yesterday. How much have you changed since draft day when you came out? I Man, I've probably changed a lot. You know, um, as of me going from high school, to uh, a junior college that, you know, no one wanted to give me a scholarship. Um, you know, uh, some Division ones, but no really big Division one. It changed a lot, you know. I mean, as, as from college, as you can lead your level to um, the professional level, it's definitely a big change. It's faster. I mean, <clears throat> you can't just be athletic because, I mean, you know, the most athletic guys, you know this because you're in the league, aren't in the league anymore because they can't grasp the whole concept. So it's just it's definitely a different experience and uh, a dramatic, you know, change. Well, you know what? You you got it from minute one. And in fact, I remember your first game. It was the Hall of Fame game. Yeah. And you laid a lick on somebody. <coughs> uh, here it is. That was lucky. Yeah. Look at that. Lucky. Oh. Get I was, off, this I mean, is hungry. Just, this is when I came from college and I, everybody else had something bad to say about me and I wanted to prove a point, you know? <laughs> and they let me do what the fuck I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. But, you know, <laughs> Sorry about that. But that's the truth. Yeah, Jim Foster was a great coach and... Uh, you know, Sean Payton was a great offensive coordinator, and it was just that year was just meant to be. And uh, you know, hopefully, I can fulfill and just you know, elapse that year. But let's just let's hope. You know, we got a Come good on, team, we got a good squad. That guy out, didn't it? That guy was from Oklahoma originally, so I'm from Oklahoma. <laughs> I don't know about, you know how we do. You know, I just had to do what I had to do. You know, I just got in five days earlier. I had to sleep in a cat. I had to sleep in a limo the night before because they couldn't find the dorm. So I was like. Two days after, you know, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I was pissed. I got a fight the day before that. Let you got in a fight? How no, you know, they made me sing. They made me sit up on the table and sing. I didn't do it. I got a fight. And then two days later, I had to play that game. So oh, no. it did not work out like I planned. I was want to say, hey, take the money back and we'll go back to college. Mm. <laughs> that was the point I was at. I was like, you know, because. You wanted to, seriously, you wanted to quit? No, no not it was just, I didn't want to quit. I just, you know, as a rookie, you always get tested and you always get. You know, you know, you know how it is. You know, you know, people always try, you know, do things. But he didn't realize I was, you know, in the back of a taxi cab for for you know 48 hours, not finding the uh, facility. And then they let me sleep in the morning and make me practice in the afternoon. And then that's what that happened. So, and I was already five days late to camp from um, the negotiations. But it worked out. Drew Rosen now helped me out. Yeah, yeah, Drew Rosen yeah, yeah. got me extra money. <laughs> you always gotta hang in there for a little bit. Well, speaking of camp. Yeah. Now. You look good now, but we I heard a few good. weeks ago that you showed up to mini camp. You had a little black eye. Yeah, I did. What happened there, man? I wish I could say I got a bar fight. No? <laughs> Hell no. I wish I could. You know, I'm doing these cable court things, and I like to work out. You, think, you look at me like I don't like to work out. Like I'm I lazy. I know you like to work out. I, I like to work out. It's good for the body. It's good right. for the soul, you know. And I like to work out, and the cable cord broke, and I punched myself in the face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would, and I'm embarrassed to tell that on, you know, national television, but that's the truth. I wish I could say, you know, you know, right. Rodney punched my ass at one night for me talking shit to him. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't going to happen. I wish I could. You know, I wasn't going to say what really happened, well, John, but I think that really did happen, yeah. knowing you. It happened. I, you know, it my luck, I'm fuck, I, you know, I mean, I can't, I, I don't know what happens. It's just, it's just, I had bad luck. Mm. Yeah. I had bad luck. But you got a lot of money, so that's good. It's, there, it's, I was going to wear a green shirt, but I don't have one right now. Okay. Oh, I was wearing one. No, I, you had the money. What are you talking about? No, you Basketball got players money. make the money. Football players, they actually have to go in and get, you know, right. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. It's guaranteed. Day, you, know, you pull, you know, you, you chill and pull Grant Hill, be out for, you know, <laughs> a long time and still make a lot of money. <laughs> but, you, but, you know, you pull me and Pete, we out, you know, for a week for an ankle sprint, we're out. <laughs> I'd be working on Dykes or somewhere, some kind of like, you know, Walmart. <laughs> well, that's for a week until I get rehab, I rehab and I go back. That being said, has Drew Rosenhaus told you to put your money away because, you I don't know, listen to him. especially I don't do, He does my football contract. I have individual, you know, financial advisors. You know, the agents don't do you know, people a lot of, you know, a lot of people up in the crowd probably think my agent. I'm the cowboy fucking jersey here. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. The cowboy jersey. What is this? You gang up on me? <laughs> Where's T.O. at? T.O.'s my boy. T.O. I'm going to call him. Hey, let's talk about that. T.O.'s with the Cowboys you, now. Now, let's, let's, let's finish the subject. You know what? You know, it just depends. 
<laughs> football is everything. Is you don't get it all the time. You know how it is, man. Basketball, baseball, you know, it's, it's guaranteed. Teal, Teal's going to be definitely a hell of a player for the Cowboys. And he's, you know, I'm from Oklahoma. I like the Cowboys, but, you know, I play for the New York. Yeah. But I like the Cowboys. I represent, I represent great talent. Yeah. I like to look at it and just, you know, all right. I tip my hat to it. Well, you know what? Just sitting here thinking about it, and I know you because I'd have, you know, saved you in a couple of clubs in Vegas. But listen, <laughs> um, <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> uh, you talk a lot. I and, do. And you get it. Has, Why do I talk name, a lot? Name the guys on the other side of you that talk as much smack as you talk when you're on the field. Man, there's a there's a lot of them, you know. And that's you know that's the competitors. That's the people that you know. Well, obviously, when you're, you're talking in practice or you're talking into games, people tell you to be quiet. So what else do you want to do? If it's hot, what, don't touch. You want to touch it. Mm. Those are the competitors. Those are the people that are hungry. They want to, you know, I talk, you know, I don't give a sh I don't care who it offends. I just do whatever I can do to help my team and myself, you know, go to that next level. And I would say, I'm being Trotter. Trotter from Philadelphia. Hell of a player, man. I don't know if you're any Philadelphia fans here, but he's held the player. He went to Washington and he came back to Philadelphia, and he talks, and he doesn't stop yeah. talking. And that's the shit that I like, and that's the shit that, you know, people that are up in this level, they, they talk. They want, you know, who, who wants to hear somebody quiet? You want to know right. my information? Right, you know, Rodney's the quarterback. I'm tight end. I'm going to say, hey, and cover two. You know, they're getting out too wide. I'm going to cover, you know, saying, you know how terminology right. so, is. So that being said, if Chris Rose was defending you, you came out and was man to man. Form shipper. You, oh, saw, <laughs> you saw Chris. Wait, wait, don't curse, but how hard would you so, hit him? I wouldn't hit him. He wouldn't hit what he'd be, but he'd back here. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to him, though? What would you say to him? I would man? say, good try. <laughs> but, you, don't think, you don't think I got the skills to cover you? I know you probably do. Yeah. I know, you know, listen, I, you know, if I, not if, if he threw me the ball. Yeah. This guy can throw a ball. He, he, Give me the ball. <laughs> Give me the ball. This guy can throw a ball right here. This guy right here can throw a ball. He did? Oh, yeah. Years, he did it. Hey, he threw a ball. Did you ever feel like you overstepped your bounds, though, whether it was on the field? I mean, do coaches have to pull you aside? Yeah, I have. love your passion. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, I, you know, I get so enthralled in the game. I want to do great. I don't, you know, I want to do, you know, better than great. I want to just take it to that next level. And that's, I don't know, you can call me, you know, selfish or whatever you want to call me. It's just whatever I can do to help my team win. I want to do that, you know. And um, so you have to control a lot of people yourself. aren't like that. I have to control myself. Yeah, it's a violent game. It's not like basketball and it's not like, you know, baseball. It's not like. Whatever I do. Whatever you do, basically. Hopscotch. Hopscotch or right. jump rope. Yes. <laughs> you know? I mean, you got a lot of people here. <laughs> hey. so, now, <laughs> I know you, you're very, you're a very outspoken guy. Very. Mm -hmm. Not outspoken. Just no. no. You speak your mind, and that's, that's okay. That's okay. We're, we're, we're in America. We not? You know, exactly. But is there is there anything that you regret that you've said in the past? No, you know what? I did some things, and they wrote some things in the paper that they said I said, and you know all this stuff. But if you actually go back and look the you know the situation, it was um, definitely completely. I would say just it, it was just magnified by. I, I mean, I call some my guy just joking with him like, hey, I'm calling. Hey, I'm calling. I'm Don't tell us what you're calling. But you, I'm going to call you no, something. No, 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 no. But the deal is, you're in New York. So the magnifying glass. It's not even that. It's not even if I'm in New York. That, that situation didn't even have to do with New York. That situation had to do with a, a reporter leaving his camera on and me fucking with my business guy because he was chasing Halle Berry for, you know, a gothic of the movie. And I just called him a name. And he left it on and he heard the last sentence. And so it was more bold. It was, you know, I'll take the blame. He should take the blame. You know, we both should take the blame. I'll call it even. I don't, you know, have anything against anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm a peaceful person. If you if you go down and sit with me for five minutes, ten minutes, and have a drink, or eat, I like to drink, <laughs> and you'll know about me. I'm not a bad person. The people you speak bad about me or people that don't know, know me. That's what I like to say. <laughs> On the field though, it's different. I like that. You know, I'm a lawyer. I try like you. That's why you got rings. I ain't got one. I got one in college. I want to get some like you here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your one. Finally, let's talk about the season real quickly. Last year, you guys won your division. You Goulet. The, yeah, Goulet. You, yeah, Goulet. You, you, you were the fourth seed. You got knocked off by the Carolina Panthers in the first round. Don't what do we that. see happening to the Giants this year? You know what? Um, people always make a, you know, a big controversy about me not participating with the Giants. And I had nothing negative to say about the organization. You know, it's just, you know, when I leave and I train, it's in Miami. It's hot. You know, people... 
the train there, it's, you know, it's, you have to work in warm, you know, a cold climate into a bubble. So I think, you know, I think our expectations are high this year from, you know, everybody in New York. They're always, always, you know, it's, they're always going to be elevated more than from any other city. Just but how is it York. you guys are not going to get tired like you did last year? I don't know, man. I, I think, like, I get away every year, not just for, you know, you know, physical ability, just tranquility and, you know, envision my mind just to get away, relax, and it makes me, I'm just, I'm hungry. Uh, when I get back, I'm hungry. I'm a person that, I haven't seen a coach, I haven't seen a player, I haven't seen anybody. I'm hungry as hell and I want to eat, you know what I'm saying? That's how I go to training camp every year. Everybody that stays up there year round, what you mean? come on, I'm going to see you every day. How about if I didn't see you in six months, but you played one-on-one like we did last time? <laughs> what you thinking, Jake? No, but that's, that's, <laughs> but that's how it is. You know, you got to come back and, like, you know, Ray Lewis says and all these great guys, they say, you know, the guys that went on my team, the guys that are hungry and they want, they want something to eat, you know. And that's how I feel every time I, you know, work out in Miami and when I get back to New York. I'm glad, glad to see my guys, my coaches, the owners. God bless their soul. They both went on Tamara and um, Bob Tish passed away. They were great owners. <laughs> and we're definitely going to miss them. Definitely missing. We, we, we appreciate it, man. Thank you for showing up. No problem. As man. always. No problem. You are entertaining. Not as always. This is the first time I've been on the show. Jerry Shockey, folks. What can you say? You're one of a kind. And we're seeing third training camp, I'm sure. Go open the is, If you can make time for me, you know. He gets Trahan off. Y'all are Trahan's ah, always on. That's all right. No, you got to kick Trahan off at least once, you know, three times a week. We'll pass that along. Hey, the NBA's version of the swap meet was held last night. We'll talk to two of the guys caught in the middle of the trading places.